Hey there folks and welcome to this video, this one here is a general note for those of you unaware of what that content is on this channel, it's where I start off the week by talking about my plans going ahead, look a bit further back and stuff that is on my mind. For this week's one you can find the topic in the title uh, timestamped in the description. And I start off by, well, yeah, um, let's talk about the week ahead. My birthday Sunday, which is weird to think about. So I'll do something special for that. Otherwise, hopefully a first RSRVR stream of the uh, year. Well, competitive RSRVR stream of the year. And then... Well, I've got ACC on Saturday. No, Friday. I've got maybe some Euro Truck, which will be over on my Twitch. Maybe some iRacing racing stuff as well. I don't know. Got a few things planned. Could be a lot of fun. Then, in terms of videos, maybe finally get the Dakar one done. Hopefully. And also work with some videos I've wanted to do for a while, but haven't really given the kind of time or attention I wanted to to them. And yeah, that's all I can really say right now. So let's go on to talk about topics on my mind. The World Enduro Championship, or WEC as it's known. Because you've got the new Evolution stuff, you've got Hypercar and the LMDH, which is the kind of LMP2s with a little bit extra on top. Because Peugeot today unveiled their lineup seven drivers, including Anthony Davidson, uh, Luke Duval, Jean-Eric Verne, and Kevin Magnussen. Firstly, I was surprised that it wasn't Grosjean. As the two former Haas drivers. I would have thought that would be a good one for PR. Also a bit surprised Magnussen given his being with GM. I would have thought that uh, Stellantis, who are the lot that are PSA and FCA, so Peugeot and Fiat Chrysler, were able to negotiate something with someone who was contracted currently with uh, General Motors. But that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what that Peugeot hypercar is going to look like as well. It's also then going to be interesting considering what could happen with Audi and Porsche. I wanted to do a video to talk about the Peugeot stuff, but then Lewis Hamilton went and announced that he was staying for Mercedes, so that had to be its own video. I haven't had much time today to talk about this stuff, but I'm really looking forward to what the World Enduro Championship will become. I think we're going towards a bit of a heyday, especially if it's affordable for people to compete in. I think gone are the days where we were like, oh, with no Porsche and no Audi, Toyota need to not implode to win. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what uh what this new season will bring. Well this season and next. And I guess yeah, into twenty twenty three. I think that it could be good for motorsport generally. Certainly good for endurance racing. The heck. I know I'm gonna be more invested in things like NASCAR and IndyCar this year coming. Didn't expect that to be the same for Jura's racing. Well, I did, kind of, but not to this degree. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, especially because, yeah, this is a shorter general notice. Wow, I got my opinions across very quickly. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.